Welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm looking at this really beautiful acoustic guitar made by Claffy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, based in Scotland. These are hand-built guitars. Uh, this particular one was built in collaboration with the customer so uh, they were you know, working together to create this really lovely jumbo acoustic um, it's uh, designed to be tuned into C sharp tuning um, and so it has some uh, heavy strings on there uh, and it has a bit of a buzzing problem and it was given to me to have a look at um, I knew pretty much straight away what it was when I looked at it uh, and I'll go into that now um, what the first thing is that the the neck has a, a quite a lot of relief in it so the truss rod needs adjusting um, you can see uh, from the side angles that the neck has a, quite a large bow in it so that was the first thing really to do was to look at that um, but the the main problem is here at the bridge and the low E string um, is it, just moving uh, backwards and forwards like this and causing a a lot of rattle um, the, the the problem I can see is that the bridge itself is quite low already there's no kind of break angle there um, and the action on the guitar is quite high um, so there's no way of that that basically has to come higher it can't go low I mean, you can see um, how high the action is but that's okay um, uh, adjusting that truss rod uh, will bring it uh, down quite a bit because there's quite a lot of room to adjust it there. Uh, so that's what that's what I did first. I went in and uh, took the truss rod cover off, and then um, had to hunt high and low for an Allen key because weirdly this is a weird size Allen key on there. It's not your normal one. I have hundreds of Allen keys for truss rods and none of them fit, so I had to go through all my old toolboxes and stuff, uh, which was quite frustrating. But I managed to find one. Uh, in the end, um, this did baffle me a bit. I was, I was like, I had to put my glasses on and go, well, why wasn't this? Why is this not fair? Anyway, <clears throat> so I did find one eventually and um, did some adjustments. Now, when I do truss rods, people are quite scared of doing truss rods, um, and rightly so. Um, I do take my time with them and just uh, small turns and uh, keep checking and small turns and keep checking um, until there's. A li just a little bit of relief around the fifth fret and uh, I do this by just holding the guitar up uh, pushing down on the last fret, pushing down the first fret and then just having a little look to see uh, how much gap there is around like the fifth, sixth, fourth, fifth, sixth frets um, and I'll keep doing that until it looks about right um, it is all preference again, some people like a bit more relief because they like to attack the guitar more, some people like a straight neck and have very very minimal relief but that's basically it just little turns this truss rod was pretty much all the way off so it wasn't really doing much at all um, and this did uh, bring down the action quite a bit and made it a little more comfortable to play so I just kept doing that until I was happy um, and then I'll leave it a few days and uh, check it again as well uh, because wood settles and stuff doesn't it uh, so there you go, that's that's basically that. And then um, I just took the bridge out, loosened the strings off, just slid it out and had a look at that. Uh, there's no piazzo in this at all, so that's not an issue. Um, this is a 2004 uh, guitar, so... I have to stop you there, it's actually a 2014. Ah, oh, yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, thanks for that. Um, how are you anyway, uh, Frederica? What's going down? I am a... okay. Have you uh, seen Fake Freddy anywhere? I, d I haven't seen him in a little while. Uh, don't like the guy much, but, uh, you know, a bit worried. No, well, oh, may, be, but, ah, uh, no, I have not. Okay, you don't sound too sure. I said no. Do you think I am lying? I mean, when I say no, what are you accusing me of? So get lost. Okay, uh, back to the video. I'm assuming this is the original bridge and it has, I don't know if you can see that in that video footage at all, um, but it has worn like some grooves into that. So really it needs replacing, but I don't have a replacement for this. 
uh, something we can do in the future maybe. Uh, so the solution for this was simply just to shim this up a bit and I did that with just a piece of cardboard cut to size put underneath uh, pushed it into the gap there so it's all nice and neat and then uh, put the uh, bridge back in um, and tested it basically and and first time it did the job um, like I say eventually we will replace that I think uh, for a new nice So, in case you're interested, this is uh, Claffy Guitars, uh, based in Scotland. Um, very, very nice website. Very nice guitars, actually. They're very, very beautiful. Um, there's no idea of price, but I can tell you uh, that this particular one is worth more than um, all of my guitars put together. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, they're not cheap, but um, you get what you want, um, and it is very high quality, I've got to say. Um, so, let's have a looky how to order, how to order, blah, 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 blah. Is it going to do that? Yep, there we go. It says, not currently taking any new builds at the moment. Please check back in future for updates, um, which is a shame. Not that I'm in a position to get one of these, but... Um, Let's have a look what's for sale on here. Uh, let's have a look. Computer's being very slow. Um, yeah, so there you go. I don't think there's still no idea of price, I don't think. Um, but to give you an idea, the specs on this particular guitar here that's for sale Coco Bolo back and sides. Um, it's a Ingleman Spruce AAA grade soundboard, uh, Alabone Rosetta with Coco Bolo bindings at Ebony, um, Purfling multi line black white black Purfling, uh, finger and bridge is Ebony, headstock guitar plays Ebony, neck Honduras, neck. Honduras <laughs> mahogany triple A grade. There's some words here I've never heard before. Infantry bin badge heroin alone. If you look at the heroin epidemic, last year alone, ICE officers removed 10,000 known or suspected gang members and to delegitimize heart, lung, and liver transplant. Uh, tuners are shallow, which is good quality, high gloss melamine lacquer. Uh, there's all the scale lengths and everything so you get a really good quality instrument with quality materials by the looks of it uh, comes with a hard case a lifetime warranty as well which can't be bad uh, uh, pickup can be installed at a price oh a price of the pickup alone so no installation charge if you want to have it electric that's great free UK shipping as well so Pretty good quality handmade instruments there from Claffy in Scotland. Um, I am quite impressed with this one. I've got to say, it does sound really nice. I mean, the uh, demo that I've done on here doesn't really give it a lot of justice, but it does demonstrate that it had a buzz and now it doesn't have a buzz. Um, I said it was a 2004. It's not actually, it's a 2014, but it's still six years old, um, maybe pushing seven. So. Uh, it's about time that things like bridges and that, they, they don't last forever. So you can't put it down to the, uh, the build or the uh, quality of the parts at all. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's uh, just claffy.com if you wanted to uh, check them out. No, it's not. It's claffyguitars.com if you want to check them out. Um, just going down, have a look at uh, a couple more. 
Well, you can check these out for yourself, but the signature ranges. Oh, we just did that. Oh, there you go. $8,000 for the vein. Um, uh, $9,500 for the Lomond. And 11000 uh, for the Nevis. So, yeah, a lot of money, um, considering the... Uh, uh, the point of diminishing returns and stuff like that. I think uh, this is obviously aimed at people that do have uh, a lot of expendable cash or maybe are of the more of the pro touring higher end musicians, I would say. Anyway, yeah, so uh, that was something different. I don't usually get my hands on guitars like that. Uh, not something I will probably be uh, buying in the future or any time in my life uh, at that kind of money. But anyway, you know, uh, it's a really lovely guitar and I'm glad to have been able to sort out the problem. Um, and uh, I'll, she'll be giving that back to its owner very soon. Um, so... If you like this kind of video, if you like this kind of channel, then please do like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out in a big way. Come and catch us on the Discord. There's lots of interesting stuff going on over there, including a travelling guitar. You'll have to come and talk to us to find out what that's all about. Um, so there's not much more left to say, except peace. Till next time. Cue the jingle. Help. Help me. She has gone crazy. Come and save me. I am at... If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. Till next time.